So this is the SNES core with everything re-enabled, including the new MSU1 stuff. Just checking to see if looping is going to work. It's also the latest SNES core as well, so all the recent changes. There is a small little problem with that loop, which I might try and fix up, but I think for now it's okay. Probably just needs to go ahead, maybe one sample. Still hard drive attached, so the games are all over the place. as expected. Everything's working. Might be just a small glitch there. It's pretty, pretty good though. Reset. Let's go back to the start. Sure that it's looping in here.
Yeah, it was just a small, tiny little tick like in here and there. So maybe it's the sample interleaving or something like that. I'm not sure. Very minor. Here's the data file. So obviously audio is working, but not not the data file video. So next steps are to, <clears throat> the codes, I've spent probably about an hour or so last night cleaning up code. Um, as I said, re-enabled all the special chips. So we should have all that stuff working as expected. Um, and yeah, we should be in a good spot to actually probably create a PR or pull request to the main repository soon and then see what Sorg wants to do if he wants me to make any changes um, also last night I was cleaning up uh, the code I also looked at you know making sure that it was ready to have the data file stuff put back in um, in terms of how much space we've got left on the Cyclone 5, we have, so I'll compile times, we're looking at about 40 minutes for a full compile, which isn't too bad. Um, <clears throat> so I just compiled this before, um, and yeah, look, 75%, 75% full, so we, we've only got a little bit to play with, uh, but yeah. I have to see, maybe that's enough for the data file as well. Um, yeah. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Cheers. Bye.